So let's move towards method overloading. So what exactly method overloading is? Just to demonstrate that, let me create a class and we'll name this class calc to make it Casio. So we have a Casio calculator, right? So what I will do in this Casio calculator, I have this method called as public void add, which takes two values. Let's say if I pass int uh, i and int j. So if it takes two values, we can simply say system.out.println and it will add those two values i plus j. And the only way to call that is by creating the object. We'll say Casio obj equal to new Casio. Now I can say obj dot add, right? And if you simply pass two values, when I say four and two, it will print the output as seven. So you got the output as, where's the output? It's seven, right? So we can, we can do that, right? So we can say add and we can pass two values. But what if I don't want to add two numbers? I want to add three numbers. Again, we have done this in when, we, when we have talked about uh, where args. But this time will be very specific. I just want to pass three parameters, not five or ten. I just want to pass three parameters. Is it possible to pass three parameters with a method to, with two parameters? That's not possible, right? So we can create one more method in the same class as name as add. But this time we'll go see if you have same name and same parameters, it is giving you error. You cannot have two methods with the same name and signature. When you say signature, it means the number of parameters and the type of type of parameters you are working with. So if I'm passing 4, 3, 5, it should create, we should have one more method which, which takes three parameters, which is i, j, and k. So we got this first method here, which takes two parameters. We got the second method here, which takes three parameters. So if you're passing three values here, it goes into this second method and you have to say i plus j plus k. In fact, what we can do is, uh, yeah, if, if you run this code, you will get output with 7 and 12. But let's say if I'm calling a new method which takes two values, but it, one is 4.5 and second is 3.8. So if I'm passing two values which are not integer, it will not support here, right? Because the, the parameters you're accepting is int. So what we can do, we can create one more method which takes two parameters, but not int, but it, it should be double, right? We'll say double i. And this is again double. If you can pass two double values, it will be accepted by your add method, which takes two double values. You can have multiple methods with the same name, but you have to make sure that those parameters are different. So if you have two parameters int, we can have three parameters, which is int, and you can have two parameters, which is double. You can have two parameters, which is char. You can have five parameters, which is float and int combined. But you have to make sure that when you have multiple methods, with the same name, they should have the different parameters. So if you have this concept, this type of concept where you have the same method name but different parameters, it is called as method overloading. So you can say we have multiple methods with the same name but different parameters. So method overloading. So that's it. That's it about method overloading. Now we know, right, how to do method overloading. Can we do the same thing with constructors? So what I will do now is let me create multiple constructors. So I will say public Casio. So that's my first construct, right? Can I create one more constructor? So we'll, let's try it. So we can have one more constructor, but you can see we are getting an error because you cannot have two constructors with the same parameters. But if you write int i, so now it is working, right? So we can have one more constructor with the same name. So I mean, of course, it will have a same name, right? So again, you got the error because you have same number of parameters. If I can have one more constructor with different parameters. So the way we can do method overloading, the same way we can achieve constructed overloading. So do we do this normally? And the answer is yes, we do this. I mean, we do this lots of time. So example, if I remove all those stuff and if I remove all this part. So what happens is sometimes you have, you know, let's say if, if this is a class which has certain variables, let's say we have int num1, and then we have int num2 and let's say we have also have string operation and we can have different uh, variables here right so let's say from this casio i want to initialize num1 as 0 i want to initialize num2 as 0 i want to initialize operation let's say nothing because i have not specified any operation yet so we'll say nothing okay that's one let's say in this constructor i can specify the same thing if i'm passing only one value only num1 will get the value, num2 and operation will get the same stuff. We can have the third constructor which takes i and which takes j and now we can have nothing because we have not passed any, any operation there. We can say copy and paste. So this will be i, this will be j and we can say string op and now so the operation will become op. So the advantage of doing this is if I create a constructor with this default constructor, it will call this constructor here. If I pass a value 4, so it will call the second constructor. If I pass a value 4, 5, it will, it will call the third constructor. If I pass a value 4, 5, add, 
it will call the large constructor here. So that means the way you create object, I mean the, the parameters you pass will decide which constructor you are going to call. This concept is called as constructor overloading. So yeah, that's it about this video. Next video, we'll talk more about constructors.